Life Audio. Welcome to Crosswalk the Devotional. We're glad to have you listening. Today's topic is temptation. We'll return to the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. You may be aware that the Salvation Army helps people with their physical needs through our programs and services. But did you also know that we help with spiritual needs? One of the ways we do this is through our network of Christian podcasts. One of those shows, the Storyteller Series, just launched a new season as we study the book of Exodus. Throughout this podcast, you'll hear an engaging narration of each chapter of the book. So that he pursued the Israelites, who were marching out boldly. The Egyptians, all Pharaoh's horses... And following each section, we'll hear from a group of friends who sit around and discuss the significance of the events we just heard. God was already preparing him for what was coming. It's this idea that God is with him. Mm. Um, Yeah. Because, yes, they had... When we look back over the way that God works in our lives, in his perfect will, there's almost like a sense of humor in it. Listen to the Storyteller series on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org. I can't believe BJ's Wholesale Club has all this great new stuff. Honey, this sofa is so stylish. Yeah, stylish. And this sweater is so on trend. Try it on. That's me, Mr. Trendy. And BJ's has the hottest brands at great prices, like Sir La Table and Nespresso. And Hot Wheels. <laughs> Look, it's Barbie. Hi, Ken. Let's go to the beach in my Corvette. Attention, BJ's members. The club is now closed. Just five more minutes, please. Saving club or on BJ's.com. Not a member? Join today. BJ's. Absurdly simple saving. Deliver Me from Temptation, written by Aaron DeAnthony Brown, read by Kelly Jane McLean. Be sober minded, be alert. Your adversary, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for anyone he can devour. 1 Peter 5 8. No temptation has come upon you except what is common to humanity. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 Since the fall of man in the book of Genesis, our world has become replete with all kinds of foul and evil deeds. The limits of sin are only the limits of human imagination. And with our propensity to do wrong comes temptation, the temptation to commit new sins or to return to something familiar. Jesus experienced temptations in the desert when Satan tested him and even offered him all the kingdoms of the earth. Job was tempted by his wife to curse God, and Joseph was tempted by the Pharaoh's wife to commit infidelity. What does temptation offer you? For some believers, addiction promises a sweet release from the day's troubles, a fulfilling escape. Others think that entering into a relationship, any relationship, will add to their lives a sense of purpose. Then there are those who are tempted at every turn to put themselves first because they don't truly see themselves as worthy. Temptation wears many faces and makes many promises, but they're all the same. False. Jesus spoke the truth over the deceit Satan offered him, and Satan fled. Job overcame his trial, as did Joseph. The same can be true for us if we don't answer when temptation knocks. Despite how we often feel in the moment, the temptation is not stronger than us, not with the help of God and other people. The mistake we make is neglecting to ask for help. As scripture states, nothing has overtaken us that someone somewhere has not also experienced. This means we can learn from the mistakes that others have made. Scripture also says that God will help us bear whatever burden we are experiencing. He provides a way out of the sin if we choose it. The next time an urge to sin hits, we can find solace in knowing that we are supported and that the urge will pass if we give it enough time. With every temptation, we can experience deliverance, but we have to make the effort to get there. The choice is ours. Intersecting Faith and Life The next time temptation appears before you and starts making false promises, 
consider using one or even all of these strategies. The less of a foothold we give Satan, the less power he will have over our minds and bodies. The easiest time to flee temptation is when the thought first enters your head. A seed is easier to move than a mountain. Fleeing can look like physically running, but fleeing can also mean turning off the computer if you struggle with pornography or postponing a conversation if you're prone to angry outbursts. Fleeing requires time, effort, and a whole lot of commitment, but rest assured that by fleeing, you're weakening the temptation. Eventually, the desire to sin will go away. And when temptation reappears, and it will, repeat the process. The more we commit to fleeing, the easier the process becomes, and the less we struggle with any particular sin. What can any of us do against sin without the help of God? When we pray to God, we have the opportunity to bring before him any and every temptation, any and every thought that is not reflective of the kingdom. God knows our situations and struggles. Prayer helps us let him in our process of overcoming. He offers deliverance, but we have to seek him. One way to flee temptation before actually fleeing is to set boundaries. If we live by certain restrictions, we protect ourselves from going astray. Scripture already gives us certain boundaries for avoiding sin. Examples are not being captivated by lust, avoiding lies, and deceit. However, sometimes we need to add more boundaries to our lives. If you struggle with social media, consider setting a time limit or getting rid of your online profiles altogether. If you binge television, set a time limit for viewing and make a plan to exercise. With more boundaries, we will struggle less with temptation. Stay accountable. No matter how much we plan or don't, or how much we pray or don't, there's only so much we can do on our own as individual, flawed, and sinful humans. We need accountability from others to call us out when we do wrong, or even commend us when we do right. None of us has all the answers. None of us is perfect. Thankfully, there is no need to be when we have the help of God and other people in our lives. For further reading, read Psalm 13, James 4, verse 7, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5, and Proverbs 5. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, Please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. Snag one of your favorites, like a six-piece spicy chicken McNuggets, double cheeseburger, or McChicken, each paired with small fries for $3.99. Price and participation may vary, cannot be combined with any other offer. Participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required.